Hey yo, it's Davo. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about the cards that you really don't hear everyone talking about too often, but I think they still have their like place in this game and they aren't like they aren't like basically useless. We are talking about the rare cards. Today I'm going to talk about my top 5 favorite rare cards or not not my favorite or cards I think that'll prove useful in this game. I know a lot of the SSRs don't have a lot of like I mean, they, they have great passes, right? But then they only really, like, I don't know, I don't want to do that. They only really, like, focus on themselves, like, you know, increase their own damage, or they become impervious to, like, being debuffed and stuff, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we'll talk about the cards that actually support other cards in this game, which are the rare, rare cards. So we're going to go over to the database, and we're going to start with my number five, Ruin. Ruin is cool. He's great. All right. He's, he's number five for this reason. All right. I don't really care about his attack. He debuffs, right? Uh, decrease attack related stats. That's great. Awesome. You really want to use this guy for like when you're doing raids if you don't want to take damage. I would probably recommend getting his passive open and using him in the fourth slot for like newer players because when you do raids, you actually get. You actually take less. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You actually take less damage. You, um. Reduce damage by 20% in raids, and that can prove very useful for like you know newer players who don't have like the tankiest or beefiest teams. So I figured, oh, he's like one of he's a, he's a really good rare card. So I like him just for this <laughs> just for this um, reason alone. And he stuns on super attack. He debuffs attack. Oh man, this dude's pretty good. He's a rare card. Don't sleep on him. If you're just starting out the game, and you, I'm pretty sure. Every, I mean, everybody has this ruin. I don't have a max SA, but still, I probably use some of his coins for stamina pies. But I should have maxed it, uh, super attack them. But yeah, ruin pretty good for tanking and raids. All right, let's go to number four. Close that, Maramus. All right. <laughs> so I know what you think of Maramus. What this rare card? The Maraca dude? No, no. I mean, he has his like places. He debuffs on both of his um cards but he only debuffs on the second card for the first for the for his first ability he debuffs on rank two and up but for his second ability he debuffs like the whole like no matter what rank decrease defense of all enemies and like well what does he do for for the first one uh atari will not be able to use buffs bro that's pretty it's good what you, what you really want to use this guy is like if you have blue demon meliodas and you're running the farming team, and you got this guy in the fourth spot, right? <laughs> Your AGL units are gonna tank so much better because it's passive, it's increase HP of all speed attribute allies. That's by 30%. That's a lot, dude. If you got like a Demon Meliodas level 80, you're focusing on him mainly. He has like great gear, right? And then you give him some good HP like gear, not specifically. HP of your sets, but like you give them like attack and defense, huh? But your attack, um, but your HP portions of the gears, you know, the the bottom ones, the two bottom ones, and he has like awesome HP. His HP is gonna go through the roof. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. And he debuffs on all of them. And he's great in like um the super boss battles where you fight like Gother and stuff. If you have type advantage, you definitely want to bring this guy because look, dog, <laughs> he's just contributing too much. Like. These passives for these cards is kind of ridiculous, and then I show you like, oh, he's a rare. Like, what you wouldn't believe that? Like, if you were just reading the like the debuffs, and then the passive, and then the ultimate decrease defense-related stats by 40% for three turns. That's ridiculous. And then you gotta remember, he's a rare card. He's not an SR. He's not an SSR. This is crazy. These rare cards are actually low-key slept on, and this guy, and this is why this guy is number four for me. So let's move on at number three, Twigo. Spoiler alert for the <laughs> for who's number one, basically. Twigo. Twigo is a pretty good AoE unit. Uh, his first, wait, which one does AoE? His second card is a 375% to all um, enemies, right? Pretty good if you're like auto farming, if you got like Houser. I have, you have Houser on the team and this guy, he gets a buff from Houser passive and this guy gets this guy, this guy gives um Hauser a boost from his passive, right? 
increase HP of all strength attributes, which is red types, by 30%. So you're making your team tankier. If you have this guy, uh, Arthur, um, Hauser, and who else for SDR? Um, probably the the Jericho, right? She she um increase um the red types by 10% attack. She's cool too, but it's, I don't think she's like on this list with these guys. This guy, I like him because he's an AOE and he applies Fatal. Fatal. What does Fatal do? Oh, crit damage times too. He he hits pretty decent for um our card. If you give him some, I'm pretty sure if you swap like gears with your like strongest character, I don't I don't know what kind of numbers he put up, but I think he'd be decent. All right. And his first attack, uh, you don't really care about it. It doesn't debuff. It's just an attack. 600% though. That's a big percent. Whoa. Yeah, he might, he might hit pretty decent. So that's it for my number three. Let's move on to the number two, Alioni. Alioni is a great <laughs> rare card because I don't think he's great in particular for his like cards. This is just my opinion. You could tell me whatever, like, um, what are your favorite rare cards? I don't want to hold you to this list, like, exactly. This is like really just based off my opinion and what I feel like. Like this is, this list would be like a recommendation I would give to my younger brother who just started playing the game, right? right? So, Alioni is good for like in-game type stuff, right? Because he increased attack-related stats of green allies, right, by 10%. So what you want to use this guy in? It's like harder stages, like the super boss fight, right? Like against Gother. Well, Gother was what? What was he? He was red, right? So you couldn't have used him here. So whenever another super boss fight comes out and he's um uh speed or blue, you definitely want to run this guy to, you know, maybe look, he, he he's defensive too. Take a stance for two turns, taunt all enemies, and reduce incoming damage by 75%. So if a super boss battle comes out <laughs> he's AGL, you definitely might want to run this guy. Run this guy and a healer or something like a like an Elizabeth or something. Dog, you can't you can't and won't die. I recommend. <laughs> I don't recommend like 80 in this dude, but I definitely recommend getting him to UR and unlocking this passive because you can use him in training caves. The training caves are difficult enough, and if you don't have a good enough like like typings, right? He's a good for like a mono um. I about to say mono tech like Dokkan, a mono green um team in like one of the training caves he's definitely like viable there too so like if you run out of cards like, oh I used up all I used my Escanor and I used my Green King and I used my what um coin shop bond definitely use these reserve like rare cards and make the team like you know build a team like with their passives like that help the whole team and not just one person itself so that's my number two uh his first card isn't uh he crush. I mean, he ignores patient rate, but I guess that's good. So that's my number two, Alioni. I think he's pretty good. Number one, Golgius. <laughs> Golgius is probably the one of the most used the rare cards in the game, just because it's passive alone. Increased damage of all allies by 15% in raids. Now, 15% is nothing small. <laughs> like, let me tell you that now. You got um. Let's say you run this guy in Red Demon, right? And you got like a maybe a level 70 um, Slater, huh? You got pretty decent um, gear. Like you might have switched him with your strongest gear set. And, you know, uh, put him in there. <laughs> put him in the fourth spot. You run Gother, Slater, and who whoever else you run. You might run um, maybe Merlin or a blue king to like stun or petrify or whatever you might even run just a attack up um person like um the sr gill thunder or arthur maybe i don't know i don't know what you run but put this guy in the fourth spot all your damage that you're going to be doing is like increased by 15 percent and it's a heavily noticeable buff too it's like i remember when i never even ran like a attack boosting like fourth card a fourth a fourth person in a um, fourth card spot it's night and day. Like I used to run like um, Gother, Slater, uh, sometimes the Blue King, and then if Blue King would die, I would bring like a backup like healer, like um, like a SR Elizabeth or something like that. But then 
I remember I read this dude's card information. I'm like, what? He increased attack done and raised by 15%? That's nothing to sleep on. So I figured I'd awaken him, and now he's like on, well, he's on my red demon team, but he's not on my crimson demon or gray demon. My gray demon is, um, I forgot the dude's name. Anyway, it's, it's a dude like him, but he's an SR. So this guy is great. I don't think he's like better than Alioni or these other cards that I show you, but his passive alone warrants like just like use this man, please. He's like screaming, please use me. That they put me in the game for a reason. Use me. I mean, poisons on super attack. Uh, his attack cards are just all really attacks. One of my AOE is it? Yeah, all enemy. He weakness. Oh, oh damage to debuff enemies times three he doesn't need he should have been able to debuff but who cares you're not even going to be using him to attack his passive it's just it's not godly it's just like really really like you need to use it so anyway you guys that's it for today's video make sure you comment down below and let me know what's your favorite rare card to run i don't know what you guys may be maybe thinking like oh uh, whatever card you mentioned make sure you drop a reasoning because um a lot of these rare cards are uh, most of them are support cards but these are my five favorite ones or not even my favorite ones I would recommend to newer players to like um they would want to prioritize when it comes to getting them up so anyway you guys that's it for today's video make sure to drop a like and if you're new subscribe for more seven daily sins grand cross content here on the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one all right, peace.